Hey everybody, it is August 2nd. I am going to do a full review of this portable fan. I am so excited that I'm trying to keep myself from telling you guys about it because I already made the video, but I wanted to add uh, this quick little video in front of it. Okay, so it does have a handle. This is a 10 inch fan. Like I said, you'll learn more about it if you watch the rest of the video. Okay, I have my tape measure here. You have your cord here. It is about 56 inches long. The fan does come with a remote that sticks magnetically to the center of the fan. Okay, so I was about to return this case. This is a Ross case. It is $29.99 on Amazon with a $5 coupon. And then I got to looking at it. It was sitting over there, you guys. It was all packaged up, ready to go back. And I got to thinking, ever since I got this fan, I've been thinking I want to put it inside of something. Yes, it has a handle. Yes, it's portable. Yes, it is very well made, but I need something to protect it and I would rather that it be padded. And then I realized it would fit into, like I said, this Uroth case. So let me tell you guys about this case, just in case you're thinking I would like to carry it in something, but I don't want to have a bulky carrying case. Like what would I suggest this? Number one, like I said, it's padded. It has a zipper pocket and two pockets here. This is that material that's supposed to be easy to wipe. I originally bought this for my nail lamp, but it won't fit inside my train case, the whole case itself, okay, at the bottom. Um, I'll measure it in a second. It has a, I was looking for the divider. It has a divider and it Velcros. I'll leave that in there actually. I don't know if you guys can see the Velcro. Okay, now we're gonna put the fan inside of here. Like I said, 10 inch fan, perfect fit. Of course, the remote and the cord can go into this zipper pocket here. This is very deep pocket. I already unzipped it. It goes all the way down to the bottom. Okay. Um, if we were to do a quick measurement, how deep is this pocket? We are looking at a little under seven and a half inches. And then it's gonna take about seven or eight times, honestly, to zip this up where it zips all the way. Okay, so it's pretty good quality. It's just, I think, working the zippers, getting them used to being zipped up. And see, that's why, I mean, you hit like the corners here and you have a problem, but it should be okay, I'll leave it like that. Look at how pretty the design is. Handles are slightly padded. Measurements for the case. eight inches, or we can call it maybe eight and one fourth if it was standing up completely. And then the width of it is 11 and three fourths of an inch. Um, if you wanna consider maybe the fact that, like I said, it softens out a little bit, we'll go with 12 and a half inches. And um, let me see, I think that's it for the measurements. We have the height and we have the width, right? And then across here, did I do across? I'm in a rush because I didn't plan on making this video, but I realized that this would fit inside here. We got 10 and three fourths of an inch, actually closer to 10 and a half inches, okay? So somewhere in between there. But I originally bought this case for my, like I said, my lamp. It has a removable foam nail polish holder it says 42 bottles, but remember, you have the rounded edges here. You have a zipper mesh pocket here. You have six small little pockets here, and this does have a stretch to it, the edges. Something to maybe put brushes and stuff like that. Um, like I said, you can remove this. Okay, so I think this is going to be a perfect case for this. I am no longer going to return this, and so I'm really going to have to sit down and pay attention to my returns, but yes, I am super excited because... Uh, my husband and I were thinking this is a nice case. It's a shame that I have to return it. It's not going to serve the purpose that I want. And then, like I said, I just looked at the two and realized that it would fit. So if you're wondering what could you carry this fan in, here is an option. And the link for the fan and for the case will be in Amazon. And this is not a paid promotion video. I purchased everything in this video. All right, you guys. See you guys just in a couple seconds for the review of the fan. All right, you guys, so today is still August 2nd, 
2023 and I said that I was going to review all my products today because I am returning some of the stuff but I am not returning this fan let's jump right into this this is the Cooney it is a 10 inch it does come in an 8 inch fan okay they're talking about the uh what do you want to call that diameter circumference whatever you want to call that it comes with this cord you will not have an adapter you have to supply that for yourself this is really neat this is a remote Okay, so I have not tested this remote. You do have to charge the remote and it is a USB-C. And I don't remember how long it took to charge. As a matter of fact, I think I just plugged it up and went to sleep. Okay, so I have not used this. So you guys are going to get to see that test everything and this also has a light on it. Like I said, this is super cool. The other thing is it has a handle. The 8 inch does not have a handle. Okay. Um, just realized how close you guys were there. Sorry about that. Okay. So there's the handle. And this one has a um, port that you can plug in to charge your phone. I don't know if I would charge anything that takes. I don't know if you want to measure what is that. Volts. Uh, watts. Whatever it measures. I, I think a phone would be all I would do to be safe. Watch the uh, video for their advertisement to see what else they show you that you can plug into this. And you do have to charge this fan and it is gonna take some time. Okay, what is so unique about this fan? Now we're gonna be going from all different camera angles today because of the fact that this telescopes up. Okay, so I'm gonna put the remote over there and I'm gonna show you guys. Oh, it's $55.99 right now on Amazon. When I bought it, it cost more than that. It was like $65 something and then it had like um a ten dollar off coupon and i'm going to i think this is going to be our first adjustment okay so we have that there give me a second i'm going to pause come back and make the adjustment for you guys to be able to see the fan but i'm debating you know what mm. I don't know. I want you guys to be able to see what it looks like when it stands up. Okay, yeah, let me pause. Okay, so I had to clean my lens, but that was just the uh, the focus there. Okay, so it folds up like this, and the way you lock it is you twist. Now you can let go. The cool thing about it is I know I kind of rotated it up a little higher than what I wanted, so I'm probably going to have to tilt this. You can tilt this backwards. And if you're wondering, can you use this like this? Yes. You can have this on, have it tilted like that, and you will be fine, and it doesn't matter how far up you have it extended. Hopefully. In my video it'll show and it doesn't do something opposite of my test because I tested this um, fan before okay now I'm gonna see I'm gonna pick this up and see how close I can get to show you guys when I turn it on and you will need to charge this for about I don't know four or five hours maybe six okay so I know you can barely see those buttons but there is a power button there is the I believe that is the speed then there is the where it kind of rotates and then there is a timer mm -hmm. um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm trying to think that is so crazy you guys I have the uh, the manual for this to tell you how to set the timer, but, uh-oh, I don't know where it is. That is not good. Okay, if you guys want to know <laughs> how to set the timer, so this is not going to be a full review because, yes, sorry about that, but I don't know where the manual is, I'm sure. With just my luck, I will find it after, but let's move along. Okay, so um, partial review not full review and hopefully I'll get this to work and this is not lost charge because I unplugged it and I didn't use it okay so we're gonna push the power button
Now, I know you're probably thinking, I don't hear anything. Um, that's a good thing. I really wanted a quiet fan. I wanted this for my toes. But when I show you this long step, you're going to say, oh, you may not need it. But this is going to serve a double purpose because when I walk outside, like I said, on my treadmill, it is very hot outside um, in that RV garage. So, yes, I need that. Now, there are lights. And I didn't really think about the fact that since this is not nighttime, you guys would not be able to see them. They're white lights. Let me look and see. I'm going to try and get as close as I can. I know this is not safe because the fan's on, but... Those lights are actually a lot brighter than what they look. It's just that I have a skylight in here in the kitchen and then I also have like every light you can think of turned on in here for a recording. And so those lights serve a double purpose. So the first purpose is to tell you how charged it, it is. If all four lights are lit up and the lights are just white, they don't change any other colors, that means the fan is fully charged. If it gets down to one light, I think it said it will shut off um, within a certain amount of time. Okay, so let's speed this thing up. Okay. And then it'll go to what speed it is. Like it'll have the first light um, lit up by the power button. Excuse me, I'm sorry, I'm losing my voice. And then it'll go back to four lights to let you know, hey, I'm fully charged. Okay, so it will always return back to however much of a charge you have, however many lights there are. There we go. Okay, so you have to push. I thought you had to push and hold. Okay, so two lights will light up to tell you that you're in speed two. Still pretty quiet. Speed three. Speed four. And I'm going to slow it back down to speed one because either it's the fact that it was the reflection of, um, as a matter of fact, I think, did I turn it off? No, I didn't. Okay. Um, I think it was making my phone shake. So let me check, let me check the focus. Okay. We're good. All right. Now. How cool is that you guys and if you're wondering okay so you said you can telescope this thing yes you can okay so it doesn't do a full 360 rotation but it does turn and then if you want it to stop then I believe you push the button again let's test it yeah that'll stop it okay so let me set that back so you guys can get a better view all right, and like I said, the timer, I'm not going to mess with it, but I mean, you can set this timer from, I don't know, it's like anywhere between one and eight hours ago. Like I said, you guys just go in and go check that out. Um, I'm going to turn it off because I want to be safe for when I extend this. And then plus, we still have to test the remote. So let's test the remote before I go ahead and pull it up. Let's see. That's the timer button. <laughs> I was like, why is it not turning on? Okay, um, side note, your timer button and your power button look the same. Yeah, oops. Oh, you guys. I was about to say I charged this up. So there's a sensor on here. Um, I was about to say, no, it doesn't work. Um, the remote would be nice to have to use, so I was going to be like, that's not good. Um, let's go change speeds. The little sensor thing I think is here in the front. Let's see. There we go. Okay, so you can go all the way up from speed one to speed four and the lights will do the same thing. It'll tell you the speed that you're on and go back to tell you how much charge you have. 
Um, from what I've read from the other reviewers, this actually stays charged up for a long time. Okay, so um, I am really hoping that I did not set the timer for this thing to go off in like an hour because remember I pushed it. Oh, you know what? It wasn't on, so I think we're okay. All right, let's make it do that. Let's see how far it goes the other way. Okay, so it's going to turn all the way toward me. So I think it's all depending on when you stop it. And it looks like I could be wrong, but there might be a shorter range of motion from using the remote, but let's stop that. Okay. And then the light on the remote. It's a lot brighter than it looks. I don't want to blind you guys here. It's a lot brighter than it looks. Okay, so another push. Oh, you can change the brightness. So there's three sets of brightness and the darker obviously it is in the room, then the more you'll be able to see it. Um, this thing gets pretty bright. And then this. Like I said, magnetic and I'm going to stop it because remember next thing is to telescope it so um, let's wait till it quit spinning and then now watch if it's locked remember I turned it's locked in place so it wouldn't keep trying to fold um, it will not telescope so you twist it I want to say you're going to the left there and then, mm, nope. Okay. Of course, because I'm recording, that's locked. I made this thing go up. When I wasn't recording and now it doesn't want to go up. And it should go up like this. This thing was working perfectly fine, I think. I don't know what happened. Okay, let's see. I'm really pulling every time I record you guys oh my goodness okay let me see that locks in place I promise you this thing goes up wow how about I stop trying to pull? <laughs> okay so is everything gonna be like this today okay so as you saw um do you want to pull from right underneath the fan <laughs> you don't want to try and pull this obviously this is not gonna move if it does you have a problem um, I guess you can consider like the base for the telescoping. So <laughs> let me see what you guys can see because I know every time I move the camera kind of refocuses. Yeah. Okay. So you saw what not to do. And just keep pulling. And then remember when I said if you have it folded this way, it'll still work. Oh, well, you want to lock it back in place. And see how it kind of pulls it up there and then look see that now cool thing you're probably wondering okay so you have this thing like flip backwards can it do that rotating thing yes how neat is that so if you don't even feel like really um setting it a certain way you can set this thing almost any way you want Okay, flip it any way you want. Just remember to lock it in place. Let's turn it off so that I can go ahead and telescope it up some more. And then also another thing, the eight inch fan, the little blades inside are black, just like the fan. Okay, just in case you're wondering, they're not white. Um, I really like the design of this one. Like how, I, you know, you know I love two-tone things, right? Okay, so how much further up can I pull this? Because I promise you guys, oh, that's right, it's locked. Unlock it and pull. Now I'm going to set this thing on the floor so you can see how high up this goes. I'm going to hold that like that. Hopefully it won't flat floor because it's not locked. And um, yeah, let me reposition the camera so that you guys can see it from the floor. 
Okay, so I know this is a weird angle, but I'm gonna tell you how tall it is because I'm gonna let you guys know right now that the measurements I believe are a little bit off for the advertisement. Um, and then also I have to show you guys the ports, right? Okay, I'm, I'll make sure I don't forget that. Don't worry you guys, I'm on it today. Okay, so from the floor up, Uh, well, wait, we gotta go to the center, right? 38 and a little over a fourth of an inch. I believe it tells you in the measurements that it can go all the way up to 42 inches or something like that. And I don't think so. Okay, so if I remember correctly, the measurements are a little off. But still, I mean, it's, it's a cool fan, like I said. Um, and we turn it on there. And then if you are wondering, can I turn it on and then control it with the remote if I want to? Like, let's say I forget that I have a remote, then um, yes, okay, now I have to make sure not to push the timer button. Okay, so let's do the speeds. Okay, so it doesn't matter How you turn it on you can then control it with remote if you want to and then uh, I believe I still have it spinning so we're gonna have it do that let's see I mean this thing is awesome you guys um, it's a little shorter than expected but I mean for the air that it blows out I don't mind sitting this on top of like a base if I have to for my treadmill walk because of my incline um, I don't mind even setting it up on the other treadmill that's next to it, the one I started my walk and talk with. That way it's setting up higher because, you know, the surface of where the belt and the, uh, what's that thing called that rotates? The deck that's right on the treadmill. It's flat, right? So I could set that across and not have it do this uh, partial rotation here and crank this thing up to like, let's say speed two, even if I want to put it up to speed four and you guys should probably barely even hear it on my recording. Okay, so I'm happy about that because I need air out there. And then also, um, it can, let's see here, I don't want to hurt my fingers or myself, so I should not be doing this. Okay. Tilt it up, as you saw, tilt it back. Yes, while it's rotating, I'm really uh, testing the limits here today, aren't I? Let's see. Good thing I'm really gentle with stuff. Look at that. So, I mean, you can just go ahead and just flip it backwards. Don't even worry about moving it. Um, and like I said, so we're gonna do ports. All right, so first let me stop it from doing the little turn thingy and then what's the right button here? I think I'm covering the center. There we go, I am. Yeah, center's right there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. Okay, let this stop spinning and then I'm going to actually tilt it up. Remember, because it is locked in place or else it would not have been able to do that rotation thing. And I'm going to show you guys supports and then we will be finished. Okay, so let me flip this back up. And if you're wondering, it can tilt slightly forward as well. Okay. And then it does stay in place. So that's really cool. The fact that it can move and stay in place like that. Um... Just in case you're wondering, the input is five volts, or I believe the A is amps, right? Or three amps. The battery is 3.7 volts, um, or it says 10,800, was that milliamps? MAH, right? If not, then MAH. Okay, so that's to give you just a little bit of ideas, and it says battery operated fold away fan. Um, it does exactly what it says, and like I said, we're gonna do ports. So I gotta decide here, where am I gonna set you guys at to show you? 
Um, I want to see what you guys can see. That way I can know that I'm showing the correct ones. I believe you charge with the type C and then the uh, USB A is for an external power source. Okay. So, um, let me go ahead and yeah, that's what we'll do. I'm going to go ahead and actually telescope this back down. So just rotate and look at that. Okay. It goes down pretty low too. And I believe if I want to uh, fold this down, I wouldn't lock it. Um, if you're worried about what happens when you pick it up, is it going to flap open? No. And you can even, I don't want to say, well, I said test the waters, right? Okay, so you can tilt that forward. I would not suggest that because see, you have a little gap after that. Okay, so I would not do that. But if it does, unless you, you have to like fling pretty hard. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put you guys back where you guys can see on the counter and show you guys the ports. And then like I said, we'll be done. So give me a couple seconds. Okay, so like I said, that's where you charge it through the type C. And you guys can see, but let me rotate more. That is where you can plug in something with your, uh, I believe that's with the USB A. And like I said, you can charge up your phone and whatever else they show in the advertisement. Um, everything else works as advertised. I'm going to assume that works as advertised as well. And that says uh, five volts out. If you guys can't read that, I believe you can if I hold still. But you guys, overall, okay, give me a second. Okay, I want to get back to where I can say hi to you guys real quick. Okay, so yeah, overall, very, very neat fan. And I have no clue. Oh, that's right, you guys. Okay, let me stand back up. This is my office chair. Um, a lot of our chairs in here, they, yeah, oops, okay, no wonder, I was like, why am I so low? Okay, so I'll just stand. So, yeah, this is the fan, like I said, if it's not pronounced clean, something close. Like I said, really neat, very portable, very, very well made. You guys saw pretty much all the features except for the timing. And like I said, I did purchase this. The coupon that they were offering was to anybody, and now it looks like they just knocked $10 off. And then I think it said on Amazon that now it's at 20%. Okay, so that means that whatever the $55.99 was, you know, plus the 20% or whatever is what you're getting in total. So the $10 coupon, I guess, was only for a limited time. But the thing about it is I believe it started off at $65 or $66. And then I clipped that coupon on Amazon. So maybe they just lowered the price for whatever reason. Um, I believe... I am on the uh, on the option for the 10 inch because I think when you go back it goes to whatever you purchased right okay so let me know what you guys think about this would you purchase this fan do you think it's a good price do you think it's worth it especially with having that extra power source for it and would you prefer the 8 inch the one that's like I said it's black the blades are black I believe everything else is the same the lights and stuff like that um, I don't think the eight inch comes with the remote. I'm not sure you guys gonna have to check that out, but you guys, I'm gonna get out of here because next up I have to do the salon step and I got to check my battery and my storage space because I might actually have to upload at least my video that I did of the two train cases, the side by side comparison. And so I can get that off my phone. I don't know. I should be able to record one more video, which means I don't know if I can report my walk today because my phone won't have space until I get one of those videos off of the phone. All right, but I'm going to go. And like I said, I love the color. I love the design. I love the quality. I love the compact of it. It does not come with the case. And uh, I like the remote. I like the light. I mean, if you don't want to turn any lights in your room, a big plus, like I said, remote slash light. And you guys saw it magnetically sticks to that. And you can have it on there when it's on. Okay. And then, like I said, remember, it comes with this cord here. The cord is pretty long, just in case you're wondering. That's the only thing I didn't tell you guys was how long is the cord because, you know, 
I don't know about you guys, but I hate when, let me move my chair, let's see. I hate when I have cords. Look at that. That's actually almost a full span of my arm span. Okay, so um, if I were to, I don't even know if I can measure this uh, cord here. Just really quick, might as well brought it up. I don't like to leave people hanging here, so let's see. On a review from the tip of the, uh, well, might want to push the button there, <laughs> or else it's going to do that. Like I said, I'm just having one of those days. Okay, push, push, push. I know my little thing goes out further than that. Let's see, measurement there. I did not think about how difficult this would be. This has to actually stop at some point. Okay, I'm going to guess how far do I think out it goes. Okay, I stopped at 56 and a fourth inch. So let's see when I spread this back out. Okay, roughly speaking, the cord is actually longer than um, 56 inches. Okay, so that, that's about as close as I can get to a measurement. Um, but yeah, let me put this back over here. You guys, that is it. And I hope this review helped you guys. And this thing blows out some air. Okay, so you got those... Uh, we're in the hot summer days right now, right? And definitely need a fan. I would highly recommend it. Um, even though I haven't used it for the purpose I mainly want it for, I'm still going to keep it. And I mean, all I have to do is what, move it closer or turn it up. Um, by the time it gets to speed four, I mean, this thing is really blowing. So I really, really like this. And I'm really happy that they came up with this. I hope they don't stop selling this. You guys know me. I always want an extra. So if I'm looking at this, like if I order an extra, I'll let you guys know. But I'm going to get out of here. Next up will be the salon step. Okay, you guys. See you guys later. Bye.